let's pray our dear heavenly father we come before you this morning giving you thanks and honor as i deliver your word to your people dear heavenly father give me wisdom and knowledge for it and more oftenly unable to defend themselves if left without a shepherd to protect and guide them it's their tendency to wander off and put themselves in danger god being our shepherd protects us rescues us he gets rid of any beach that comes our way when we go through difficulties we need not be afraid because he's with us even in the darkest moments um, I'd like to give an example with an antelope which falls prey to um, predators in the forest like the lion because it doesn't have a shepherd to take care of them. But luckily, as Christians, um, we have a shepherd who is God, who will protect us and rescue us, and uh, he will um, protect us through the darkest moments. Looking at verse 5 and 6 takes us to our point number 4, God blesses us. Um, you prepare a banquet for me where all my enemies can see me. You welcome me as an honored guest and fill my cup to the brim. I know that your goodness and love will be with me all my life and your house will be my home as long as I live. With God being our shepherd, we need not to worry about what others say or think about us. He has got our back and serving him is never in vain. He will bless us right in front of our enemies. He will do that abundantly. He will never fail us. He ensures justice prevails after all. In reference from Romans 8.31, it says if God is for us, who can be against us? So when we allow him to be our shepherd, goodness and mercies will follow us every day. Um, moving to our second reading from uh, John 10, 10 to 21. Um, the term shepherd is also highlighted in this passage of John. In this passage, certain things are highlighted that makes our relationship with Jesus as our shepherd special him being our shepherd and us being his flock. Um, in verses 10, the devil who is likened to a thief, his work is to kill and destroy. But Jesus, who is our shepherd, came to save us and give us life in abundance. He defeated the devil for our sake. Um, uh, here we see the devil came to destroy our lives, but Jesus being our shepherd, he defeated him so that he may, um, uh, he may be able to save us and uh, give us life in abundance. In verse 11 to 13, Jesus being our shepherd, died on the cross for our sake, is likened to a shepherd who will do anything for his flock in times of danger. In Jesus Christ, we are safe, and like a hired person is demonstrated in this passage as one who will run away in times of danger, even trusted for sheep. But Jesus will, also, will always be there for us. Um, during our troubles, Jesus will never run away. That's why he is um, shown here as our shepherd who will be with us in times of danger and um, he will guide us and protect us. In verse 14 to 16, we can see Jesus, a shepherd, knows his flock. Jesus too knows, as, knows us as his sheep and we too as believers do him. We see Jesus came even to save even those sheep that have not known him. That's why he gave his life to save all humanity. Um, here we see uh, Jesus doesn't care or he doesn't uh, discriminate where you come from or uh, where you work or where you live. But despite of us being uh, his believers, uh, he died for our sins so that he may save us during our times of troubles. In verse 17 to 21, but we see that even after giving his life, 
Not all accepted Jesus, but still there are those who believed in him. Some recognized the miracles he performed. Um, in this passage, we see the sacrifice Jesus made for us, being the good shepherd he is, that he died for us, that we may be saved. Jesus as a good shepherd will do, will do for his sheep. So let us keep faith in Jesus and he'll um, protect us as we submit unto him. Um, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.